Hey guys, so last week I asked if there was any special video request you have for me, and a lot of you asked to see a what's in my fridge video. So here we are, and before I get started, I should just put it out there that in no way, shape, or form am I a brilliant cook in the kitchen. I try to keep things as simple and basic as possible because, you know, when you work a lot, um, both Michael and I work a lot, um, so after you've been standing on your feet all day, the last thing you want to do is stand in the kitchen for an extra couple of hours prepping food and cooking. So we try to keep things really fast, simple, and basic. Um, and I guess another question that I feel that I might get is, uh, you know, like, are we vegetarian or are we vegan? We are just vegetarian. We're not full vegans. Um, so Michael's been a vegetarian for over 15 years now, and I have been for the past 10 years. So I think that covers everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. And there is my itty bitty living room. So here's our fridge. It's nothing fancy. It's just, you know, pretty small and basic, but it works for us because there's just the two of us. I keep most of my beverages on the top shelf. This is my water purifier by the brand Pure. Very handy to have ice cold water ready to drink. And then this is Pellegrino mineral water. This is actually what helped get me off of drinking soft drinks because I love carbonated beverages. So I just add a splash of lemon and it's delicious. And then I have my coconut water and coconut milk. I buy these at Costco. So you always get a big, like big, case of Costco stuff, you know, so I always have backups back there. And then on the far right there is Michael's milk. I don't drink milk, but he likes to, so that's basically all his. And then this lemonade back here. Sometimes I'll have a little bit of this. I'll mix it with my Pellegrino mineral water, and that's pretty good. That's also from Costco. On the second shelf, I have some leftovers here. This is quinoa salad. It's really good. It has uh, cilantro and tomato, all kinds of stuff. It's just really tasty and handy to have things ready to eat. And then back here, I have, let's see, this is salsa. And then I have my tortillas. I couldn't think of the name of tortillas, yes. Tortillas, because we like to eat a lot of tacos. And then this stuff I actually don't like, so I wouldn't recommend it, but it's just like a soy, like taco filling kind of thing, um, carnitas. And then back here I have medjool dates. I love those. I have kind of a sweet tooth, so I'm really into dates. And also berries. I love berries. They're one of my favorite things to snack on. I love fruit in general, but especially ooh, when the blackberries are in season, oh yes, you know, because I'm from Oregon and we are famous for our blackberries. So these are some raspberries. I just picked these up the other day at Costco. They are so good, so plump and juicy. And then I have strawberries and blueberries under there also. And on this side, I have Oregon chai. I get this at Vitacost. It's just chai tea latte. It's just really good. It's a concentrate. So you mix it, you know, with uh, coconut milk is what I use, or you can use regular milk if you want. In the drawer here, I have lychee. I like to keep some fruit just in a bowl ready to go so I can just like grab it and snack on it whenever I'm, you know, come home, come in the door and I'm starving. Um, this is mint and I use that when I'm making like infused waters and whatnot. And I almost always have lemons, but I'm out right now. Now on the bottom shelf, I have these four containers that just help organize. I got these in a set of four at Costco and I just found that they're really handy to help organize the fridge, any loose items that you have. So in the first one here, I just keep little snacks. Like this is hummus and it's just really good to have with vegetables. And then I have these Baby Bell little cheeses. These are really good. I found that they don't bring me out like American dairy. For some reason I can eat dairy from other countries, I realized, but if it's American dairy, for some reason I break out with cystic acne really bad. Okay, in this drawer I have these zucchinis that are from our friend's garden and I just place a paper towel down there just to keep them, you know, not too moist. In this drawer I have Brussels sprouts and our favorite way to cook these is just by throwing them into the wok and kind of stir frying them and then we add spices to it. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And next to that I have artichokes. I love artichokes. These are so tasty. I just like to steam them or boil them and then I make a dip with veganaise which is kind of like mayonnaise but without the eggs and it's really yummy. And in this last drawer, I have our stir fry vegetables. So it looks like I'm out of my baby bok choy, but I do have my mushrooms and my little, I think these are the sugar snap peas. And then in this bag, I have a Costco stir fry mix, which is really handy to have, especially when you're in a hurry. You don't feel like chopping vegetables. You can just throw it in the wok and you are good to go. It also even comes with a little bit of teriyaki sauce. 
In the bottom crisper drawers, I have a ridiculous amount of carrots because we buy them at Costco and they come in a huge bag. So here's some of them in here and then they couldn't all fit in one drawer. So there's the rest of them. So it looks like we'll be having carrot juice for probably the next couple of weeks straight. Moving on to the door on the very bottom, I have more coconut juice and then green teas. I like to have these just because they're handy when I got to run out the door really fast. I don't have time to, you know, sit and kick back with a tea that I make at home. So those are nice to have. I have a giant jar of jalapeno peppers that we get at Costco and artichoke hearts, four bean salad. This is great for putting on the top of salads. And then also the Spanish olives, I almost called them peppers. <laughs> These are Spanish olives. Those are awesome for perking up a salad. And then apple cider vinegar. And in the front, I have aloe vera gel, which I don't actually eat or drink. It's just for DIY projects. On the top shelf, we have all of our condiments. This is veganese. It's just like mayonnaise, except without the egg. And then we have soy bay teriyaki. Ooh, and it is not happy about the refrigerator door being open. Oh, that thing is a hot mess. It's all sweaty. All right, it's very upset about the entire situation. Okay, moving on, we have peppery Moroccan ketchup. This is a delicious one. Michael loves his ketchup, so he's got several different kinds in here. We also have Tabasco sauce and a lot of different kinds of hot sauce as well because we make a lot of Mexican food. Uh, it's one of our favorites, so we have lots of spicy stuff. And we've got some hot chili sauce, and that's just about all for the condiments. And then we have butter up top here, because Michael uses butter when he makes mashed potatoes. And then on the outside, just kind of hanging near the fridge, we have all of our avocados, and we have some purple potatoes. And I'm a huge fan of guacamole. We eat lots of guacamole, so we use this mortar and pestle bowl up there. I got that at Costco a while back. And then these are sweet clementines. And down here is our beverage basin. So this just kind of holds like backup beverages that can't really fit in the fridge. So we have extra mineral waters and some green tea. In the freezer, we don't have a whole lot in here. I have mostly just frozen fruit, so I sliced up some honeydew and I have that in there, as well as pineapple and peaches. And then of course, to keep it smelling fresh in there, we have a little bag of baking soda. Both Michael and I love making smoothies, so we have lots of frozen fruit. So this is a bag of mixed fruit. And then we have strawberries and sweet dark cherries. And then frozen pomegranate for making infused water. And on the top shelf, there may or may not be heart-shaped ice cubes. Nope, empty, okay, we'll have to make some. I'm hoping next that I'll be able to finish organizing my entire kitchen, so inside all the cabinets, and then I'll be able to show you guys the entire kitchen organization at once. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll let you go, and I will see you in the next video.